Okay, so, hi! So today, it's not a long video, I just wanted to show you guys something today that I made. So today, well yesterday actually, I finished making this doily. Pretty big. Maybe 9 inches across at longest, maybe. Not even, it's not that long, but not that big. But it did take quite a while. It took me about working on it, uh, maybe all together it took me 8 hours to work on it, but it's not that big. It's very, I think the size was number 50. Yarn. I'll introduce the yarn later because I want to make this video short, but it's very nice and it started off with the magic loop and funny thing is so originally I when I made this I had a lily like a tiger lily in mind because I thought six petals in the middle This is where I start in the middle by the way for people who don't know you start here in the middle I started with a magic loop I started it by thinking I'm going to make something with the theme of a lily like a tiger lily a tiger lily specifically but then when I showed it to my mom, she said, it looks kind of like Devil's Tears. And I thought, what? Devil's Tears? That's an interesting concept. But I personally would not have thought of that, largely because it's just not something I would think of. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so I thought about Devil's Tears, and I thought, it's fine. I, I would probably call it Lily Doily, or Hexagon Doily. Because I like hexagons, and most of my other doilies, I won't show you guys today because, again, I want to make this video short, but most of my other doilies that I make are based off either 8 or 6. And this one is based off 6, the number 6, because there's 6 petals, and you can tell when I hold it up, it's a hexagon. So that's, this is, my, of course, my own design. Basically, the, pretty much all everything I make is my own design, because I don't have time to, like, this, I should say, that this is just a hanky, but I should say, I look at design, I have to look over at my crochet work and make sure, yeah, I'm doing it right. I don't have time for that. So I just, either, either I write the design out, like, just a loose sketch and I follow it loosely, or I just have something in my head like this that I want to make, or, or I just make it along the way, like, add stuff on. And this is, this one I actually made before, so I know how to make it, but that's what I did. Anyways, I was thinking about devils too, and I thought, what would make a devil cry? Or the devil? Is there, is there one devil? I'm not Christian, so I don't know. Maybe there's more than one devil. But I thought, what would make a devil cry? And I thought, hot sauce? And I thought, would a hot sauce make something evil cry? And I thought, probably, because evil people have tongues. So they have to cry, and they probably taste food, and they eat food. So, hot sauce? So I guess hot sauce would make this. Which is nice. I mean... Imagine this coming out of your face. Mm. Anyways. But yeah. I just made this and wanted to show you guys. It was pretty nice. I thought it was pretty cool. But one pro one interesting thought is my mom looked at it and she said, Okay, well now that you made that, can you make, for me, a shawl? And I thought, well, a shawl takes a lot of time. And, she, and I, I, she told, I showed this to her yesterday after I finished making it. And she said, this is such soft cotton because it's Egyptian cotton. I'll, again, I'll introduce the yarn at a later date, but uh, I showed it to her and she said, this is so cool. And uh, she said, if you could make a shawl and then we could dye that shawl, like a, maybe not too dark of a navy blue, but say like a, this color right here. This is actually a really nice shirt, I like it. Or maybe this kind of blue, maybe a red, I don't know about red, but she said, maybe we can dye it. And I said, navy, but I prefer the white soft color not to mention dyeing it from my experience when you dye something it makes the cloth kind of it makes the texture really weird so I'm not really into it but if you wanted to dye white lace cotton cotton thread again even if you wanted to dye why wouldn't you just buy the same color and in my instance or in this case here I buy this at the souk the local souk I'm near and uh, that's just they only have either this color or some other beige color which I'll introduce later but that's just the color they, ha they have so that's what I use. But if you wanted to use a red, you should just buy the red because dyeing it is going to really just mess up the color. But anyways, yeah. What is this video? Four minutes? Perfect. Short video. I just wanted to showcase this. Very nice doily. I don't. I won't write the design out because that's too much work. And you know, I don't write. And there's a lot of software out there that lets you make the design, like type out the design or whatever. I don't have time for that. Just look at it again. The middle is right here. Magic loop. Just if you know how if you know how to crochet, you'll get there eventually. Just look at it, be inspired by it, and make something like it. It's not that big of a deal, okay? That's what I just want to talk about. So hot sauce and doilies. Hot sauce and doilies.
I guess after I finish recording this, I'll just upload it to YouTube and uh, write the uh, write the title this time: Hot Sauce and Duelies. Okay, enjoy hot sauce. Okay. Anyway, I like it. I really like it. This is probably one of my favorite designs that I've ever made, because most of my designs I make it once, and I don't like it, so I'll just kind of I'll write it down for future prosperity, but. I usually don't make it again, but this one I always come back to. <sighs> Maybe I'll make it in that beige color because it is really nice, though I would feel that it would kind of lose that lily flare. But then again, if I had, instead of beige, I only have beige and white cotton lace yarn, size uh, number 50, by the way. I hope I said that, number 50. That's the thread size. And I used a 1.0 millimeter uh, size 6 uh, crochet hook. This is what I use on this. I pretty much only use this one for this yarn. But, yeah, that's what I would use. But if they had a soft, kind of a soft orange color, something a little lighter than this red, but a little lighter and softer, then you can make a tiger lily kind of uh, doily. But I guess this one is more of a, I don't know, lily of the valley kind? I'm not so sure. But it's just a soft, very nice lily. If you decided to put this like a, a cuff, I'm going to use something. This is, oh, perfect. I'll use this. Let's just say this is a vase and it has a flower sticking out. You could put it like that and just sit it on the coffee table. But anyways, yeah, that's just what I wanted to share today. Short video, six minutes. Oh, perfect. Six, six minutes. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.